I realized dealing with a reality TV debutante that is my son's mom. Man, it's like this, bro. It's like this, bro. It's like this, bro. Look, I ain't got a slap a hoe, but I tell you though, um, <laughs> man, this dude, this Tanzanian idiot, Samzy, dumbass, thinks that uh. I'm his publicist or something. Like, I owe him anything, you know? So he's been uh, dealing with me. We've been working with each other on stuff. You know, he's a good director. He needs to go to college, uh, go to film school to really get his activation together. Until then, man, we're just pulling each other's straws and getting mad at each other. And, you know, he's calling me a culture vulture and doing this, doing that, doing the third. I don't care. I know what I've contributed to this culture that I that is thankless. I made some money from the source. I made some money from The Root. I made some money from NBC Black. I'm trying to apply it to work at the New York Times as a, as a LA reporter, as a California reporter, pitching uh, things such as, uh, you know, um, Bo Money, Bonita Money, uh, here in California, here in Sermon Oaks, who's uh, masterminding Korean uh, cannabis policy and goes back and forth every three months. Um, as a foreign correspondent in Tanzania, I could talk about how Russia is making advances with that country, meeting people um, directly. And so uh, bilateral relations are happening there that the United States is not privy to. Uh, while we have our elections here going on and there's partisan and uh, people think that Kamala Harris is black when she's actually not. Um, and so she'll likely get, you know, lose the election because she is Trump's, not Trump's adversary so much as, as uh, the puppet of one and only uh, Barack Hussein Obama, and I think that's hilarious because Barack is a great writer, but his time, his window in office came and went. So uh, at this point, it's just flushing DEI money down the toilet on all the people that uh, Kamala is going to have uh, working her campaign. Hopefully it includes me because I am from Ukraine originally, Dagoli Poruski, um, and I could do outreach directly to, you know, voters in different states that are swinging, you know, uh, but that's up to the the, the, the the president of the United States, who I met in 2019, Mr. Joe Biden. Um, and you know, when I said Habadi Ghani, he said we've been there. So I'm assuming he meant Kamala Harris. But you can't be for certain because American people can decide to vote for Trump and then we have someone else. So that's the moral of the story. I have a business called Credit to Culture. I'm applying to work at uh, the uh, Detroit News great organization. I like their layout. I like what they're reporting. Um, New York Times, LA Times, no. Uh, and really just any outlet they will have me. And this is it. This is all I have to say. Thank you. Y'all have a great weekend. Oh, maybe Wal Walnut. I don't know.